Hello, this is Grinstar, and today I am happy I got Pigments 4. Pigments 4 has a couple of new cool things into it. Um, very uh, cool UI uh, change here. It's got this uh, super neat play interface for simplification of its in interface if the other type of uh, synth interface is, is too... Uh, um, well, actually, these things right here is, is too much for you. Uh, I think it kind of gets rid of those, but it still makes a cool, like, effect here. That's cool. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, a couple new filters. The MS-20 is new. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, the filters, the effects, it has some new effects in here. Uh, oh, like the Shimmer Reverb. I think that's new. Uh, tons of new uh, um, presets. Uh, brand new preset browser, if I'm not mistaken, is one of the things. Um, kind of cool. So you got, um, like, like here, the new presets. I don't recognize any of these. Um, well, yeah, and here you go. You got, you can sit there and, and um, filter by what you want to see. So if I want to go back to the uh, 3.5, it's here. Definitely remember that one. Uh, oh yeah, the actually I think it's missing one of the ones that it used to default to. Although I don't remember what that preset was, to be honest. Um, but uh, pretty cool. Oh yeah, the Venus Theory preset. Neat. Um. That's pretty cool. That was in the 3.5. Uh, I need to, to to go back. Um, so. Um, I guess that's a new one. Uh, but, uh, at any rate, pretty cool. Two by Banks, got the presets. I show, so this should be all of the, the 4.0 presets. Oh yeah, and modulation. Um, so all all you have to do is basically drag and drop stuff, and then it modulates just like Bitwig. You have a nice little thing here that that kind of does the modulation, but it's a little bit simpler than it was in previous time, uh, previous uh, version of 3.5 um, pigments. Uh, there should be some other um, minor. Uh, type of uh, um, things to do with the uh, the engines. I think they said minor improvements or something like that. What I like doing is, I think this was... So it's actually flipping the samples. If I'm not mistaken, this morph thing changed a bit here, too. Um, I don't remember the interface looking like this. Or the harmonic uh, engine that they have. Overall, pretty cool stuff, pretty new sounds, um, pretty neat UI. Uh, I'll probably change it back to the um, previous uh, look or theme. Uh, go theme here, classic dark. Hopefully it don't crash on me, not that it would have crashed. But taking a while, you never know. Yep. 
There we go. And that's how you change themes now. You get a little a theme drop down. It took me a little while to, to figure out where it was. So we got we got the new the new play, the the different themes, the the new the new uh, uh, presets, the new preset browser. This is this is also interesting, although I forget about it sometimes. Um, uh, if I think it's on sale right now for hundred dollars, and if you buy it, <clears throat> well, if you buy it on sale, um, I think you get free banks, three free banks. I think is is what they're doing. Um, so that's not bad. I think I bought it for a hundred dollars myself, uh, or close to on on uh, uh, Plug a Boutique, and I didn't get Jack besides Pigment. So it's a pretty good pretty good deal. I think something's eating my CPU. Not exactly sure, but if you're hearing crackling in the in the thing, I apologize. Uh, not exactly sure what's causing that. I trust. It, uh, hopefully, it's not pigments eating my CPU up. Okay, not sure what it's about. I think I think uh, it was probably my computer causing it. Oh, there, there's a little bit of it still. Maybe it's clipping. Interesting. I'll I'll figure that out later. But um, kind of a bad demo then. <laughs> uh, any rate, um, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I will see you in the next one.